Welcome back to the channel, Farm with Nick. Thank you so much for joining me today for a custom farm build on the map, Iowa Plains View. And we'll get in our uh, pickup here in a second. We're gonna buy some property right next to the shop. So the shop for the map is up here and we are gonna buy field 15 here. And then we're also going to buy the one right next to that and field 14 too, just in case we kind of go over that way. Okay, so we'll hop in our pickup here. And first, for this uh, custom farm build today, I will actually go ahead and paint grass in part of the field and then I'll plant grass as well. And after that, I will bring you back and we will place some buildings. So our main farm is gonna be on that middle field. And I'll just park our pickup here across the street. Okay, so our main farm is gonna be here on this middle field and then we might or might not use that side field and then our back field over there straight ahead. So I will bring you back after I get everything uh, planted or painted and uh, planted in. Okay, so I'm all done painting our fields here and planting them with grass. So our main drive will be here off of the road. And I did this entire middle field here and I did go ahead and I did the back field there that we purchased that kind of swings up to that next road. The one thing on council for Iowa Plains View is it does not let me get the last little bit of the field there, as you can see. I don't know why, so it'll have to stay. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate. I like the location of this so I don't want to switch it now. However, it did not let me get rid of that. So it is what it is. It'll just stay there. So let's get into uh, our build here. And first, let's go to farmhouses. And I'm going to use a farmhouse, one of my favorites for this one. Just a standard American one use the white one so this will be our drive right off of here and we'll kind of place it kind of facing that way there so it comes off the road that looks good and then the rest of our farm will kind of be to the right so let's go to sheds now And let's get something. I downloaded a newer mod right here, this basic garage. I like this one. And let's change the color, kind of match the house. Yeah, let's do this one. Yep, that's it. Looks pretty good. So if we're driving up to our house that way, let's have our garage kind of a little bit off to the side. There we go. And then let's add some barns. And I'd like to add a large red barn for this farm. Something a little different that I have not done before. And I like this big one. I think this looks really neat. I like this one. So it's a very large one. And let's place it. So here's our house. Let's kind of place it towards the house, kind of off to the side. And yeah, that looks good. So I could come back there and smooth that out, but. Let's keep going, um, and then let's 
add to that one. And we're actually going to make an L shape barn out of this. So in the back here, let's kind of line this up. And how about right there? Yeah, that'll look cool. Excellent. And let's keep going. Let's add... Let's go into silos. I'm kind of thinking there's like a red barn that we could add kind of in the front. Yeah, right here. It's the... Iowa Plains view one. Let's add this one here. So if this is our drive, let's kind of add this off to the front here. There we go. And let's go back to our sheds. Um, well, let's, let's skip that. Let's go to animals. Let's go over to this chicken barn that I really do like. So if we have that hayloft barn kind of across from it. Let's add a chicken barn there. That'll look good. And then now, back to sheds. And let's add... some sheds. I think this is from the, the White Farm Pack. Let's add a small one first. And a little too small. Let's get a little bigger one. There we go. And we'll pretend this is part of the older side of the farm. And let's go back. Let's add some more. Let's add this one. The vehicle shed. From Iowa Plains View. And we'll kind of make this directly across. There we go. And then let's add another one back here. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, and let's add some silos with it here. And I think I passed them. Um, first, let's add a ferment, uh, fermenting silo here to our main barn. Kind of add it right, right in there. That looks good. And then let's add a multi-fruit silo back here. And this one probably would say is original to the farm, this back silo. Yeah, that looks good. So that would be connected into that smaller white barn. And I think we should add another kind of garage behind our house. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's go into tools. I think there's a barn in here that we could do. There we go. Kind of like a workshop one too. Alright. Let's add this. Kind of facing our our main barn. 
There we go. Good, that'll work. And then pretend... Out there by that. Oops, production. Let's add... Pretend they have a small greenhouse back here. Kind of out back. And then maybe a couple gardens as well. There we go. Yeah, that's looking really good. And over here, I was thinking of putting in a um, water feature. Let's go down to sculpting. So raise and lower. And I'd like this to be a larger pond, actually. So let's lower this down here. And then I'll come back through and kind of paint it and all that. Now I know I don't need to make it as deep as I do sometimes. I just like how it looks with the water in there. Yeah, we'll add that there. And then painting. I can like the... Yeah, the animal mud color for our pond. And we'll put some plants in there, not a, a lot. And you can kind of see them through the water a little bit, pretend these were coming through, and then let's get to our water here. There we go. Not sure this is going to work. Oh, it might. The very largest water pond actually works quite well, right? Right there. Yeah, that looks good. And I can just come back through and touch that up in a, in a second. Okay. So we have our buildings placed. Now I'd actually like to add some animal pens as well. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to go to our cattle here. And let's go to the basic pastures pack. And let's go over here. So here's where our first pen will be. And like I said, that back part I could not get rid of. So it's just going to have to be there. And... Gonna place it. Cause I wanna be able to drive through there. If that'll work. And then over here. And I'm gonna add some fencing as well. But pretend we had another pasture then over here as well. And then this is the large field that kind of goes back to the road. So we will add some open pastures here as well. And then you could actually keep this open. And we'll flip this one sideways here. 
you could actually keep this open and um, be able to mow mow the grass. I think that would work out really well. There we go. So we have three off there. We have one kind of right behind our main barn. And then we have another over here. Well, awesome. Yeah, that's looking really good. Okay, and now let's go into our landscaping. And let's add some roads. So we are coming off of the main drive here. And let's pretend we're coming up here to our house. And then off of there, we would go over to our nice garage over here. There we go. That looks good. And then I would like it just to kind of loop over to here. There we go. So nothing really fancy, but just kind of looping over that way. And then this, I don't know, kind of decided we might just have that as dirt. And now, pretend we're going to come back through and kind of come up. So this, kind of loop over here. And I'm going to fix this, but let's put this in now. So this is going to be like our drop-off area for our cattle. So I'll just kind of square that off a little bit. And then the rest will be will be dirt there. So I'll come up our chicken coop there. Kind of make the drive a little bigger here. There we go. And then it would come through here, up to our first barn, and use to store probably most of our equipment over on this side, and then through here, and then buy our chickens. There we go. And then this cement, I'll say, why not? Let's wrap it around there as well. There we go. And I know I have this little spot here. We'll probably put some, some dirt roads in there. And then this, kind of going out. Follow along this fence line. And then come out to the main road. And then we'd probably have a drive that would come around the back way as well. Oh, excellent. There we go. All right, so let me add some of the dirt roads now with you. All right, so this first one, we would actually need, we need access to here. And pretend it's just kind of loops up to there. And then maybe just comes off of our main road here. 
so nothing terribly fancy. That way, we'd have access to our hay shed. Okay, and then let's swing. And maybe eventually I'd add a drive here, going to the front, but kind of like the look of it right now. Let's swing over here. And we definitely have a drive that would kind of come back into there. You can see I don't have access to that back, so it kind of swung my landscaping tool off to the side, but that's okay. So even if I sort of mess up, we try to make it look like it's been there. There we go. Just some happy accidents there. All right, and then around our cattle, we'll add in some dirt in there, animal mud. And then swing back over here. And then back here, this would definitely be a path to kind of get around. And you can see it's not letting me, this is as far as I can go right. So unfortunately, can't make it look exactly the way I would like, but it's okay. And this would come up here. And then back here, same thing. We'd be in our pasture area. Get some dirt around the feeding spots. And then some dirt kind of in our pastures where the cattle will be. And then I'll do the same for these other ones. Okay. Just do this quick. And then we'll kind of just go over to our pond as well. Kind of touch that up. And you see I'd have to level that out too, right there. On that feeder. Make it look a little more realistic. I had some in here. And yeah, just making some random spots, maybe where the cattle sit, walk around more, graze. And you could add it out here, because technically I'm going to take away the the markers, so I'm going to add fencing out here as well, so you won't see that as much. Okay, and let's go over to our pond, which looks pretty good here already. And let's go to plants. And let's add some grass closer to the pond. And you could put grass, honestly, right up to the pond as well. There we go. And then maybe just some little swatches of flowers that are sort of growing around it. And then same thing, just some other ones, some bushes. Oops, there we go. And then kind of change the bushes out. Different little spots. There we go. Something just to make it soften a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to go through now. And I'm going to add some of the other bushes. Um, trees. And once I get done with that... I will bring you back in a little bit. Alright, so welcome back. I am all set 
adding in the small little details to our farm here and I'll kind of just drive around and then I'll give you a quick overview at the very end I'll um, go back into our build mode so I place some of the decorations as you can see some power lines rocks uh, flowers shrubs trees and added some of the other small little decorations there some firewood a little playground extra wood and then the background you can see i did add in some fences for our pastures for our cattle and over here so coming off of the main drive um, i kind of liked how this ended up you would come up to this gate here and this is where you would unload your cattle corral them in and then I have these extra gates here which you would open and then let them go into that pasture on the right or you could just um, keep them and put them towards the left there so I really like how that kind of turned out and then we have our other barns here we have our chicken barn here and then kind of coming around we have another storage and then we have our other side pasture up here too so i think all this really turned out really nice um i'm very happy with the build and some of these builds i'm always like oh i should just play on these maps now again with these nice builds um but i just i like to do them too it's it's really fun for me so let me jump into the build mode really quick and just give you a quick tour of our farm so here is um, the main road and this attaches back out to the shop so we are really not that far from the shop if you have to buy something so we come off this main drag here here's our house and then coming up is our um, little mini pole barn slash garage and then kind of coming up into our right is our little hay barn here then we have our fermenting silo with our main barn here and then if you remember we added in another barn off to the side kind of making it an l-shaped and then we kind of have our little corral here for our cattle where we'd unload them and then we take them into the pastures from there so i really like how that turned out and then we have our little features in here little gardens greenhouse we have another barn here and then we have our nice large pond back here and then in the background you can kind of see are the pastures so we have this back pasture and then we actually have three more to keep our cattle in so i'm really happy with that and then that actually attaches to this back road now i did not and could not add any more fencing on this back part however I think it works out fine because you could drive all the way through here and then you don't have to worry about the fence line and then same thing if I'm driving I can drive over there and then just loop back up to the farm so I think that works really nice and then we're on the back side of our our large cattle barn which is very cool so then I'll kind of loop over here give you an overview so we have our chicken barns and our small uh, starting farm probably and then we add it on and then we have our other side pasture right here as well and I think that turned out really really well and so I did not add in any uh, ponds for our pastures as we would probably rotating them more frequently frequently as um, we have quite a bit of pastures in this farm and then this just kind of loops back out and then you can get out of the gates through here and then back to the house so there it is um iowa plains view custom farm build and i really like how this one turned out um i hope you enjoyed uh tagging along on this video and hope you have a good one take care mm -hmm.